Hello YouTube, Steve Minai here, and today I'm going to show you how to set up your HD PVR with Windows 7. All you need is to first go on the website. It's going to be um, I'll so I'll put the link in the description. It's going to be the Hot Package, whatever however you pronounce that website. It's going to be their website, the manufacturer of the PVR, and you're going to go to um support. And then go to driver and applications to the HD PVR. And then you're going to go right down here. And you're going to download this HD PVR driver version 1.5.7.0. This is what allows you to use your PVR on Windows 7, Vista, and plus support for Windows XP. So that's what you're going to end up downloading. You're going to end up downloading it. I'm not going to, I already have it, but I'm going to stop that. And then once you download it, you'll have a little thing like this. You're going to open it. You're not going to extract this folder, you're not. Because uh, with WinRoy, you're not going to extract it because all these things, you don't want all that stuff on your desktop. If you do that, your thing. You're just going to click this. I'm not going to do it because I already have it installed yet again. But in order to do it, you have to have your HD PVR on and plugged into your computer, otherwise it can't read the driver. Um, and then once you do that, you can put in the CD came with came with your HD PVR to get Total Media Extreme. And then once you have that, what you gotta do is go to Total Media Extreme, go to Record Video, and record your video. I don't have my HD PVR in right now, so I won't do this. But that's pretty much it. It's a very simple process. It takes about two minutes to do it, and then after that, you have to restart your computer. So like, it updates everything, and then once you do that, that'll be it. So yeah, it's a very simple process, and um, it just recently came out. Um, it came out about what two months ago for the support for Windows Seven. That that's really good. So yeah, so if you got an HTTP VR or or you don't, I would really suggest getting HD PVR. It is the best thing I've ever invested in my life. Um, it's only two hundred dollars. That sounds kind of pricey, but small price to pay for good video quality. In case you've been keeping on my YouTube, as you can see, if you were to go into my uh, video quality, quickly show you. Even though it's kind of pointless me showing you on this, you can just easily go on my videos. But um, I got a lot of good uh. Let me just show you my most recent video. It's actually it's really good quality. It's the full screen. You don't need to do it yourself. I don't even edit my videos no more. Um, unless I'm doing something like a montage or something. What I do is just once I let it save to the desktop and then I upload it to YouTube right away. And when I upload it, um, because I get every single quality on YouTube. I get 240p, 360p. 480p, 720p, that's HD there, and 1080p. 1080p is the best quality, but um, as right now I'm on my laptop and I'm um, two stories up from the router, so I don't get that good internet connection, but it takes a while to load, but if you're right next to your router or you're, you got a desktop hooked up to the router, 1080p would be the best because it's the best quality. Right now I'm going to 1080p, I'm actually pretty good right now, but. As you can see, it's really good quality. So just, I'm not gonna show you no more. Just watch the video yourself. Yeah, it's really good. So um, that's what I really wanted to show you. Um, prestige me now. Out.